Hey everybody, I want to share a game with you from the uh, Pro League. Uh, this game took place January 31st of 2018. Uh, Christian uh, Sharilla, uh, St. Louis Chess Club commentator, uh, has the white pieces and is rated uh, 2557 here. And with the black pieces, uh, Conrad Holt, uh, rated 2578. And now Sharilla started out with the uh, Nimzo Larson attack, B3, which is uh, pretty popular nowadays thanks to uh, the works of uh, work of Richard Report and um, uh, Bardor uh, Yobava. And so we see it, uh, and of course Nakamura and Blitz Chess also. So we see it a lot nowadays. It's not as surprising anymore. So B3, E5 from uh, Conrad. That's how I like to respond to it. <clears throat> Bishop B2, Knight C6, classical development, Knight F3, uh, challenging uh, black center already. And um, one of the problems with uh, just putting pieces um, without putting your pawns, um, you know, out there in the center is that um, you are provoking the opponent to advance and those um, lesser value pawns can knock your pieces out of the center. And of course, this all has to be calculated and figured out. And so, Conrad is up for the challenge. He plays E4. And of course, Sharilla says, Hey, I've provoked your pawn for it, and now I'm just going to hop in the center. Knight D4 and prove that advanced pawn to be weak. <clears throat> Knight F6, E3, and D5. Sharilla decides to exchange. Knight takes c6. B takes c6. And continue with his development. Bishop e2. Bishop d6. And castles. And now already personally. Uh, I like. I like blacks. I like blacks position personally. Um, I'm not saying that white is lost or anything uh, crazy like that. But uh, I just prefer the classical setup I like having the the space advantage the center uh, I like having the advanced pawn on uh, e5 if I'm black or e4 if I'm white with the uh, prospects in here I like um, black's next move Conrad plays h5 so he's just going for it on the uh, uh, king side before white can really get anything uh, going he just hits uh, Shirilla in the mouth h3 Knight g4 he says take that he says take take your modern your mod your hyper modern theories and shove it pal g3 knight e5 i love the use of the squares in the center beautiful stuff king g2 so now uh Shirilla is just on defensive mode notice how he is no longer um, trying to tear down uh, Black's center at all. And this is a sign of things going horribly wrong. Now he has to move, make moves like G3, H3, King G2. All moves that uh, you do not want to be making when you're supposed to be tearing down your opponent's center. Queen D7 threatening the brutal entrance of the queen on H3. Rook H1. H4. This is, this is uh, getting worse. G4. If this was basketball, right, this is the equivalent to getting uh, posterized. And for those of you who are not familiar with that vernacular, it is when a spectacular dunk is made on you when you are trying to go up and block the dunk, but you get dunked on anyway in an embarrassing fashion. And usually the uh, player that's doing the dunking will swing on the rim or sometimes stand over you and look at you as if you didn't uh, belong in the same arena with them this is kind of what's going on right now Conrad Holt is just bringing it uh, to uh, Christian uh, Sharilla in this game so f5 is played and, and Black's game is easy he's just trying to open up everything Bishop takes e5 so desperation giving up the very strong proud Nimzo Larson Bishop Bishop takes e5 now black owns the diagonal so black has came in you know like the repo man and just uh basically is starting to evict uh all of white's territory knight c3 castles 
F4, of course, of course, Conrad is not going to allow F4 to exist. He takes en passant, he takes F3, Bishop takes F3, Queen D6, that G3 square is looking mighty uh, tasty. Knight E2, and of course, I should have said it a while ago, yes, white is busted in this position. It's just a matter of time. F takes G4, H takes G4. Whoa, Rook takes F3, so removing any kind of defense on the light squares, King takes, Bishop takes G4, just drawing the King out even further, King takes G4, and now Queen G6, King H3, Queen F5 check, King G2, and here comes the brutality, there will be several checks in the row. This is equivalent to uh, unanswered punches in boxing or MMA when a fighter is no longer defending himself and just taking uh, unnecessary punishment. Here, Rook takes F4, check, bring up the exchange, E takes F4, Bishop D4, check, King E1, Queen G3, King E2 and Queen G2 check and uh, Sh Shirilla resign. Notice the two rooks that never got in the game along with the queen on D1. So this is just a brutal example of hyper modern uh, concepts going wrong. Of course, we know there's some beautiful games where white wins in this uh, approach, but this is not one of them. This reminds me of the um, uh, what was it? Uh, Larson Spassky game. Uh, when Russia in the Russia versus the world, I think it was 1972, I want to say something like that, where he um, Larson was just destroyed on the white side of this opening by Spassky in a similar approach, similar classical approach. So, a uh, fantastic game by uh, Conrad Holt there. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, check the links below. And I'll see you soon.